This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, Python version. I'm on level 7, Picnic Buster. Goals. All humans must survive, no code problems. Protect the picnickers by using if statements to figure out when the ogres, when there are ogres to attack. If statements are a fundamental tool for programmers, that is true. That's like actually true. I use them constantly. Uh, they look like this. Enemy equals hero dot by nearest enemy if enemy okay so what this does is remember this is a variable so we create this variable called enemy we then say hey hero look around and who if the hero sees an enemy enemy then equals whoever that our hero saw okay so if the hero looks around and sees an enemy our variable enemy equals that enemy so it's like giving them a new name. However, if the hero looks around and sees nothing, enemy would actually equal nothing. So we're using an if statement to say if enemy, if enemy exists, if that variable means an enemy, if an enemy is actually there, then we want to do something. And what we're going to want to do is, well, attack. So let's see what we got going on. Remember that enemies may not exist yet. If there is an enemy, attack. Always also remember codes here for help. Okay, so I'm going to start typing if, and we're putting this in a true loop because we're going to do it forever. We want to always keep checking if an enemy is there or not. So if enemy, and we already declared our variable and assigned it to something. So if enemy, and we're going to attack not once, but twice. And this, make sure it's indented, right? Because it needs to be indented twice to be under our if loop. And then all of this is a part of our wall. I mean, our if statement, and then all of this is part of our wall true loop. Okay, so that's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and hit submit and see. Awesome. So this was the code that worked for me. Great, let's keep going.